Hello guys, today I want to quickly present you a new component on my LiveWire kit set of components. If we scroll down, the new 23rd component is toggle switch for database field. And here's how it works. So you have some kind of list or table and if you want to toggle some field of that model, you just click active and then it is saved in the database automatically without any confirmation or any additional actions. So you can set active or inactive. Now let's take a look at the code. And a quick note, I like that live wirekit project, which was started by me, now is becoming my team's project. So my colleague Carol is joined on a few latest components and some fixes. So now we have two people working on that live wire kit and let's see what Carolis did in this case. So whenever you have the blade file, for example, table of users here, you put in live wire component with passing the model. So the object of that user and then which field you want to toggle active is a database field in users table. So you can see active zero or one. And if you change that, for example, active set to one, refresh the data and then active becomes one in the database. So this component could be reused for the table, or if you want to just one time save something in some model, for example, settings is live or not the project, that could be also used here. So what do we have in that toggle button? And we provide every component in two versions, Tailwind and Bootstrap. And it is pretty important here because the difference is quite a big one in CSS. So a lot of visual magic is happening with Tailwind styles here. So there is an actual checkbox, but it's invisible because there's appearance none here and some styles additionally with apply. In Bootstrap version, there's also a hidden checkbox with slider and then quite a lot of CSS styles under the hood. From the back end, the main thing is here, wire model is active and let's see the component. Component has two main parameters, kind of. It's working with the model and with the field, which you've seen before. Also, we have current state of that field is active or not. We have design template, which is irrelevant for you because it's for demo purposes. And when loading the project, when loading the component, the amount is setting is active to the value of that field from the database. Then when rendering, we're just rendering the component, nothing too fancy here. And this is important part, the hook of Livewire updating the field, we set the attribute to the value that it provides, which is one or zero. And then after this one render happens again with the new value. So it's a pretty simple component, but the main magic is, as I said, in the CSS and how to demonstrate that visually. So if you want to have that component with the full source code, you can purchase it at livewirekit.com along with 22 other components. The goal is to release one component every week or so, or maybe a few weeks. And as soon as we hit 25, I will raise the price from $19 to $29. That's for all components, one time price, including all the feature updates. So if you want to purchase that for $19, I guess you have a few weeks to do that. And if you have any ideas for new components, shoot in the comments or email me directly, pavelas at laravel See you guys in other videos.